Okay. We need the 40 meter kills and kills without body armor, both with both actions. So. And we have to have iron sights. One thing that I'm not used to um, that I, I kind of enjoy, it's going to make it a little bit more challenging, is um, I built this off of an alpha account. So the, uh, whatchamacallities, the fucking poor guy account, not the EOD, whatever the hell it's called. Hey, P22. Oh, Abdablos. Um, so, so. Basically, you start out with your trader rep much, much lower. Which, so far, is actually pretty cool, because that means we're going to have to work a lot harder in order to level up traders. So we're not going to have the nice stuff that we normally do as fast. I think my favorite part of this game is watching it back when I'm editing it and just realizing how stupid I sound. I'll, like, stop halfway through sentences and shit. For no apparent reason. Nice. Oh, there's somebody. How this guy was running to the wire. Shitty scabs. Concerned he's this way, actually. No logical reason, just bad vibes. Just bad vibes, boys. Oh, condensed milk action? All right. Where'd my magazine go? Did I drop it? Gosh darn it. All right. <clears throat> I have a terrible habit of doing that. That's why I bring so many freaking magazines. Can't tell you how many times I've gone with a VPO and ended up with one mag by the end. someone with a backpack. Otherwise, this is going to get... Uh, I'll have to leave this area, and I don't really want to do that without looting. Fighting. Did I air burst it? Cab yeah, right. There he is. I 
need the scav kill. There's one. That's a scav. Good hit. So we got this PMC. We got that scab. No point in being quick with it. The only way up is uh, up the stairs, which is loud. But we should hear him. Oh, there he goes. I thought I was ADS on that one. Pop this dude's nugget. I am ass at this game right now. Jesus, I deserve to die. <clears throat> Terrible, Joe. Terrible. Okay. We had the PMC. I think he left. I'm not going to assume it, though. So let's grab a shoddy and go clear. If he's still here, he was over here last I saw. Also, yay us. That's one quest done. He's gone. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Lucky I'm ass. Hey, he's hit twice. Ah, oh, that's a PMC. to the left, I think. No? Huh? Tent, maybe? He jumped the wire? Nope. Come on with that shit. What is that? Oh my goodness.
Jeffrey Whitworth. This, this guy, 14 hits, 14 hits. Wait, how much was absorbed by armor? Damage dealt to body. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Oh, that's kind of lame. He had good ammo. Not that it would have mattered because we were, we were naked anyway, but. Work really hard to get my hideout and my stash larger specifically before doing this stuff that we might, we might be uh, in a better spot just because we keep getting in these tight spots where I've got too much good stuff and then I lose it. And then we're, we have nothing and we're in a really shitty spot and we can't complete quest. So if I build up, I'm sorry. I did... thought I had a T lamb on here. Okay. So if we build up, you know, a little bit of reserve, that might be a good look. Huh. On reserve, I say that. Yoey. Oh, I, ooh, I don't like this. Can't turn my flashlights off either. There's two. I'm gonna have to yeet one. One here. Okay, what's going on here? We have... Jesus. Oh, they're two la last tacks, that's why. There's your problem. Oh, we even have the night iron sight here. Look at this. Bougie. If you don't run these, by the way, they're actually pretty solid. Where is it? This guy. <clears throat> they do a decent job if you're running like a if you're running uh, iron sights at night much better kind of makes it usable in my opinion go this way about 30 rounds. the ammo it was straight up ammo i hit him like what four five times so it would have it probably would have killed him if i had decent ammo oh, gosh okay i'm i'm can deal with that that is fine at least we dropped two of them that would have been so much more fluid if i was able to pin armor We dropped that, that first fellow was like that was like 25 to 30 rounds that it took to kill that dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, but we made progress on that. I am happy. I don't want an 8R for this. Uh AKMN would not be bad. AKSN AK AKMSN isn't necessarily a bad look. 
It's not great either, but... I mean, the advantage with this is that we're going to have ammo that, even though it's not the best ammo, it slaps pretty hard. Um, I think I got rid of... Oh, this is what we can do. If we take this back in here, we can take this off, switch the hand guards. And although I really dislike, I really dislike the, uh, having the site up there. Honestly, it hasn't been that much of a, an issue. One RK6. Do we have a muzzle device for this thing? I think we got rid of the ones that we had. Um, okay. Made. Bring a lot of ammo here. Gosh, that was it. That was a good fight. I should have broke contact instead of going into that wall, but, you know, hindsight. I want to see, I'm pretty sure there's another mother, ooh, another muzzle device I can get. Maybe not. Uh... All right, whatever, I'm, I'm over it. All right, we're going to go 6B2, which don't at me, boys. The The reason for that is specifically because uh, it's got a lot. It's got a lot to offer when it comes to, you know, 80 durability. It's, it's pretty freaking solid. It's not great, but we'll take it. Okay. Reserve. Oh, we need a flashlight. What am I doing? We need a flashlight. Do we have a flash? Uh oh. Oh, I forgot we have Cayman. We've got we've got stuff in here too. Oh, we've got an MRE in there too. Oh shit! I really like Ulux. Okay, so that's going to be 90 rounds. Is that going to be enough? It's not really a lot. It's not, but I mean, you know, what choice do we have right now? Okay. Let's do it. No, no, flashlight. Flashlight, Joey. Who we should buy it from, Peacekeeper. Uh, we need that. We need the mount. Should be good to go here. Cool. It's on the left side, like I enjoy. I am a left side, left side flashlight enthusiast. <clears throat> oh my goodness thanks for your patience with all this stuff guys I'm going to try to keep this a very um, consistent uh, on a consistent schedule Here's the hoping he didn't spawn in over here or there. I don't like this.
side jump this, really. Okay, okay. Got some stam. We'll loot this while we're here. crossed Sports solve. All right, Godspeed. Hello? Jesus Christ. I hear someone. DMC. Oh yeah, we can't close that door. Man. hear that. Alright, let's go in the bathroom. Or this room. Get situated. My goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay, we still have four. Uh, or also four. That can be seven. That can be eight. All right, let's use some of these nades. I guess what we should do is go turn on power first. Get all, get scratch all the legs now before we start the shit. Someone in off right here. Here. It's a regular scab down there on the right. I feel like I'm getting good at clearing down here. I swear I hear somebody. This guy. Go back, back. <laughs> oh, fucking thunder. be a good secondary. Ew. Maybe not. to do that anyway. Let's be real. Now here's a question. If we turn on the annoying ass alarm, they only spawn, or do they only have the potential to spawn up the tracks? You know? Or can they also spawn down here? 
find out. These grizzly slugs are pretty rough. That shotgun was low. We're gonna take some risk here. And not clear everything properly. Godspeed to us. Okay, get the scratches out, boys. Here we go. That is amazingly not loud. Thank God. Thank you, single player Tarkov, for fixing something that's been broken in this stupid ass game for years. Just turn it down. Just turn it down. It's so loud online. Dang it. <laughs> the shotgun. What shitty is no uh, backpack. Fuck it. Go for the reset. Man, that's frustrating. This is when we'll come across fuel or something big that we need. I mean, spark plug. All right, let's get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.